Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what are the differences between a Red Hat Enterprise Linux and in short form, we call it as RHEL or RHEL and RHEL Core Operating System. Okay. And before start the observing the differences between RHEL and Enterprise Linux or RHEL, and RHL Enterprise Linux core OS. Let's quickly recap our Red Hat Open Hybrid Cloud Platform. As we are aware, Red Hat OpenShift, we have a three editions. OpenShift Kubernetes Engine, OpenShift Container Platform, OpenShift Platform Plus. Platform Plus, it have a all advanced features. But we, whenever we plan to run enterprise grade Kubernetes platform, which is OpenShift, we require a Linux container host operating system. This operating system can be either we can use enterprise Linux or we can use enterprise Linux core OS. So our topic also, we are going to discuss what is difference between RHEL, this one we are already familiar, and core OS. Only these two OSS differences. See, the first point is the purpose of RHL is general purpose operating system. So, and it is a versatile OS for various apps. It can be used for a normal monolithic applications, tier-based applications, and also container-based application. But when it comes to enterprise Linux core OS, this is a immutable container host. Here, immutable means cannot modify or unable to edit. It's completely a fixed fixed container host operating system. And this was released main purpose only for a container platform, which is Red Hat OpenShift platform only. And it is optimized for containerized apps, providing lightweight because the operating system is only lightweight operating system and immutable platform for container orchestration. Okay. And when to use these two platforms? Let's say when it comes to RHEL, RHEL Enterprise, either RHEL or we can call it as Enterprise Linux. So this platform mainly for when customization and integration with additional solution is required. And core OS is when cloud native hands-free operations are a top, top priority. Only for the cloud native scenario, we'll go with core OS and the rest of all scenarios will prefer RHEL, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And coming to the benefits. What is the benefits of both OSs? Enterprise Linux, we already aware, it's a 10 plus year enterprise life cycle and industry standard security and high performance on any infrastructure. That means it can be run it on a edge location, on premises, private cloud, hybrid cloud, and other any of the cloud environments. And customizable and compatible with wide ecosystem of partner solutions. When it comes to the core OS, this is self-managing over the air updates and immutable, tightly integrated with OpenShift. Only for a OpenShift platform only, it's not at all exposed to the other environments. And host isolation is enforced by a containers and in our OpenShift environment containers generally we can use either Docker or Podman and optimized performance on popular infrastructure. Okay and some more differences. Update model. How we can plan for a RHEL update model. So traditional package based updates so which may lead to versatile into the system configuration over time. Normally for updates of RHEL we may use Red Hat satellite servers and core OS it's a immutable update model that means automatically updated as all and ensuring consistency for containerized environments. Okay, and coming to the another point, packaging and software. So RHEL offers a wide range of software packages for various purposes. And it utilizes traditional package management systems such as RPM, Red Hat Package Manager, or we can also call it as a DNF Package Manager. DNF is the latest version of M, Y U M. And when it comes to the core OS, it's mainly focus on container runtimes and Kubernetes and related tools with container uh, container centric approach. Okay. So container runtimes means mainly it's uh, focused on a power of container scheduling. 
and come to the networking. So within the RHCL networking, it utilizes traditional network configuration methods and core OS is designed for use in microservices architecture and often uses a container network interface in short form CNI to enable communication between containers. Okay, and licensing and support. So as we are aware, RHCL is a commercial Linux distribution and requiring a subscription for updates and support from Red Hat. When it comes to core OS, is often used, used with a Red Hat OpenShift container platform. So it's available as part of specific subscription package for containerized environment. As I mentioned in earlier, the core OS, it comes with either the customers, some may purchase only the Red Hat OpenShift Kubernetes engine. That is one license. Second method of license is like we have Red Hat OpenShift container platform. That is another level of license. And advanced license, we call it as Red Hat OpenShift platform plus. So within these three scenarios, within the three scenarios, Red Hat offers core voice as a part of these subscriptions. Okay. Hope you understand the, the main key differences between a rail and core operating systems. Okay, and the, now let's talk about the use cases. So use cases within the rail and core ways, generally container relax, as we are aware, it's a designed for general container workloads. But when it comes to rail, it's a designed for general use and core OS is designed to power the container scheduler. But the rail, not only for container environments, but also can be used for all traditional applications and also tier-based applications and container applications. But when it comes to core OS, it's specifically dedicated for enterprise-grade Kubernetes platform, which is OpenShift. Okay, now here are the key takeaways. But both are both OSs supported for a abstraction layer between hardware and container environments. Now, the key takeaway is runtimes. Container Linux provides multiple runtimes, and RHEL can install runtimes. Either we can use RPM, Red Hat Package Manager, or we can also use traditional package systems such as M is the old method, but the latest version of M is DNF. And core OS, it provides one runtime to satisfy the cluster. So that is a OpenShift cluster. And another key takeaway is use cases. So as discussed, RHEL suitable for a broad spectrum of applications, including traditional servers and virtual machines. And core OS ideal for cloud native and containerized environments where consistency and container orchestration are crucial. So key takeaways, choose RHEL for general purpose enterprise computing needs and the core OS choose for is containerized environment to ensure consistency and efficient container management. Okay, so that's it. Hope you understand the key difference between RHEL and core operating system. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Ignan Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.